All right, so today we're doing a walkthrough with the previous owner of our newest rental over here at 726 North 12th Street in Miami's, Miamisburg, Ohio. This property came from a client uh, who was renting their grandma's house and she just wanted to sell it, didn't want to deal with on the market, showings, things like that. Was able to connect with her, see if we can make a deal happen, and we did. So we showed a little bit of walking through with the seller, her thoughts on what it looked like, and then we'll break down some numbers. Alrighty. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I am <clears throat> run behind, so. Oh. All right. I just sat there and played solitaire. <laughs> Well, at least you had something to do, right? True. Sure. All right. Come take a look and give me your thoughts. All right. Oh, I'm sure it's nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, how pretty are these floors? Yep, we want a lighter floor. Honestly, the biggest thing is probably the kitchen for just oh the lighting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. Yeah, oh, lights. how great. I thought it turned out pretty good. The cabinets were in good shape, so we didn't have to re-put like, yeah, in new ones. Yeah, they were all put in. When did we put those? 90, maybe? Okay. Yeah, they were in pretty good shape, so we didn't have to do much. We just lightened it up and yeah. painted them. It's a nice little paint and everything, so. I think it turned out pretty good. When we first moved in, I painted everything white. Did you? Yeah. It's funny how it changed. We're trying to help to keep the wood floors, mm -hmm. but they had a bunch of screws all the way throughout. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh no. So it would cost us the same to put a new floor in as it would have tried and patch all those holes. Well, yeah. Uh, yes. But, but yeah, it turned out really well. Yeah, it is. It's nice. It looks good. Yeah, we have to check out bathrooms too and downstairs okay. too. Oh, did too. you do the downstairs oh, too? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We made a we made a bathroom down there like a full size bathroom. Okay. And then we switched the laundry room to the other side and just put all the flooring down there and just oh. kind of made it better and a little better. So okay. overall it's pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah. This looks great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah if we get a chance I like to show people what it looks like. Decided what you're gonna do yet? I think we're gonna try and rent it. Are you? Kind of see what it comes out to. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. So we'll rent it and then I think we're we're trying to go for 2200 mm -hmm. uh, on the rent if we can, but. I have no idea what we rent for. Uh, it slowed down a little bit. We didn't do much here, we just put in the new flooring. Yeah. That's about it. Okay. Oh, my. Windows cracked open. That's not good. But yeah, I mean, it went a little faster than I thought. About seven, what, eight weeks? But yeah, pretty good, I think. Great. Just great. Yeah. You can check out the basement if you want to. Okay. Just put it online today, so we'll see what kind of oh, okay. what kind of action we get and things like that. So that looks nice. Yeah, we took all that up and then restained it and then painted the back of them white. So okay, this is the reason we moved. Can't do. Oh, I'm sorry. If you can't do them, that's okay. Oh no, I want to go. Oh. It just takes me a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. So we just cleaned it up really. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a lot of space. It is a lot of space. It is. Especially with the bar out. Yeah, the bar's out. We gotta fix the main line there and turn off this crack, but. Oh, you put the washer dryer. Washer dryer over here, so then we. You'll see back there, there's more space in the utilities and the bathroom yeah. and everything. It just makes the whole thing a lot easier, so. Yeah. That makes a lot more little one. I mean, it's a ton of space. Part of me wants to sell it, but I'm like, ah, if I can learn how to run it, but if, if it becomes a hassle, I might just sell it. Yeah. We'll see though. Never know. Never know. I think we took care of the water issue down here too. Oh, did you? What'd you do? Uh, we kind of rerouted it back here and we put a French drain by the, that door. Okay. Then that's actually going to drain out into the water catch. And then what I think I also do is I'm also going to put something above the deck. So like any rain or water that comes down, I'll just you know, like metal siding almost and just carry it out away okay. from the door. Okay. But I think we're going to be okay. Time's going to tell. I don't know yet. So other than that, it's, it's pretty nice though. This is, this is really I think we'll be okay. Humidifier. Yeah. Still, Still works. Working, I mean, it? We'll just run until someone doesn't want to. Oh, it fills up yeah. pretty fast. So yeah. And then, oh, how much is this? So we just kind of extended it. Yeah. Built the wall out to here, kind of just made sense. And then yeah. laundry room over there, so you have all the space here for the furnace and whatnot. So. Sure. But yeah, I think overall it's not bad. No. We just had to work on the AC a little bit. Oh, storage. Did you have to work on the air conditioner? Um, it wasn't keeping up on the temperature. So oh it was probably just, he just put a couple pounds of refrigerant in it. That's about because it. Because that so, was just put in, yeah. what, two years ago? Yeah, it probably had like a little bit of a leak or something too when they first put it in. So it was fine though. So it was good to know before someone moved in. Yeah. But other than that, it's I, it's a great house. I was like, it's pretty straightforward. Good. I said we just had to fix some of the upstairs bathrooms. Like the floor was like really rotten on one of them. Oh, was it? So we just replaced it, put the bathtub in there, things like that. But it was all good though. Oh yeah. Probably one of the cleaner houses we had to work with. Besides the water coming in here, trying to figure that out. Other yeah. than that, it was good though. It wasn't okay. bad at all. So. Well, but yeah. This, this is great. Yeah, so hopefully. Looks great. I hope, I hope you can win it. Oh, I think we will. Wow. If not, I know we can sell it. But yeah, I think uh, uh, we'll get someone good in here if we do run it, I think. I mean, we're not going to. We'll get good tenants in here. It's just too nice of a property not to. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, other than that, it's pretty straightforward, I think. Yeah. All right, so overall, this is actually a really, really good deal. The original purchase price is $150,000. We did an inspection, found a few things wrong, nothing we weren't aware of, that was $400. Then you have utilities and carrying costs, title, closing, things like that, and utilities were probably an additional, let's just say $4,000 from $154 right there. Um, we use our home equity line to make this purchase. And then rehab costs, initial estimate was $10,000, probably be close to 12 to 15. So if we make it 15, all in, we're close to $20,000 in this property at a 150 purchase. Now the key about this property is it was a, let's say it's a three, two, three beds upstairs, two full baths upstairs. Now it had a walkout basement, carpet, there's a bunch of junk down there, and a very, very janky, old school type of bathroom, if you've ever seen those before. Pipes exposed, scary toilet, <laughs> scary like one-off shower. So what we're able to do with that about $15,000 we invested in the rehab was completely redo the entire house, paint, all new flooring. This, this house actually had wood floors, but the unfortunate part is someone put screws throughout all of it to stop the squeaking, which drove me nuts because I was hoping to save them because they last forever. So for the same cost, we just put down LVP, luxury vinyl plank, and we put it all throughout the basement. Um, so what we did in the basement though, we, we took that bathroom, we extended it and made it a, a really a full third bath, and we have another fourth bedroom downstairs. So now we turned a three two into a four three, four beds, three full baths, with a walkout basement. So we went from about 12, 1300 square feet to almost 22, 2300 square feet in this house, which is awesome. 
And there's ample storage in the back. You got the walkout, nice large yard for a dog. Um, there's a lot of good opportunities in a detached garage. Now for rental purposes, we could probably rent this out. I have it at 2200 right now. Given the market and what's going on, that might work. Um, realistically, maybe 21, 20, 50 I'll take. It's still a good deal. We are refinancing this property. I'm hoping to get 170 on it. Um, so I get my $20,000 back, pay towards that home equity and pay back to 150. And overall, we're gonna look really good on this property because I believe the equity on it, if we sold it, we'll go for 250. So for 170 all in, and we can sell for 250, that's $80,000 profit right there in equity alone. I'm contemplating selling it. It's just, it's too good of a buy to sell right now. So overall, we should get about 2,200 on it. Uh, once we refinance it, we're getting crushed on the rates. It's gonna be like seven and a half, eight percent, or eight and a quarter, or something stupid like that. Um, it hurts us a little bit. I can always refinance that down the road, but we should still cash flow three to four hundred bucks a month on this property, uh, which brings out about five thousand dollars. Well, yeah, it'll be close to about forty five hundred dollars, forty two hundred a year of positive cash flow. That's taking out reserves uh, for repairs and maintenance and things like that. Again, it's a new HVAC system. So we in a newer plumbing and everything. So we really shouldn't have any CapEx and or maintenance to really deal with. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of that. Overall, this thing was probably about a, this probably has to be a home run based off the equity and what we can rent for in the cash flow in this property. This was a home run deal in a market that's really tough and people are looking for just singles. This is a home run deal, super proud of this one.